I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Thanks for being here today as I wrap up my day. My next guest is Claire O'Connor. She's here with Bumble, and she's here to give us some um, feedback from a survey that they did. Claire, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Claire, let's get into that survey. I'm always interested in survey. What is the recent survey about? Well, first of all, before we go into the survey, tell me what is Bumble and who is its audience? Yeah, sure, of course. So Bumble is a dating app, but what sets us apart from everyone else in the space is that at least for heterosexual matches, women make the first move, send the first message. And we really hope that that sets a stage for gender equality from the start of any interaction. Um, the audience is anybody, 18 and up. We have folks who are octogenarians meeting on Bumble. So it's really for anyone looking to date, meet new people, find love, um, find friends, or even meet potential business partners. We have three different modes across the app, date, BFF, and biz. Okay. So you guys did a survey. Tell me about this survey and what it's su suggesting about the future of dating. Yeah, well, I think the, the main suggestion here is that online dating is now considered just dating. We had 91% of respondents tell us they don't think there's any stigma attached anymore to meeting someone online or through an app. I mean, I think part of that is, of course, to do with the fact that in the pandemic, there wasn't a lot of choice but to meet people online. But um, interestingly, two in three people who responded say they think it's possible to fall in love with someone they've never met in person before. So it really seems like virtual dating, dating via Zoom or FaceTime or the video chat in Bumble's app is really here to stay. Okay, for your dating experience online, this is new to some people and very comfortable for some Oh, How do you get your profile updated to look good to attract people? Yeah, so as we go into what I think we all expect to be a summer of love, you wanna make sure that your dating profile is seasonalized, so to speak. So. Go on to Bumble, look at the photos you have on there, take out any that are from fall or winter or have you playing in the snow, replace them with recent photos, um, and also use that profile to sort of telegraph something about your personality. So, and you know, the things you enjoy. So if you're a hiker, a photo of you hiking. If your dog is a big part of your life, a photo of you walking your dog. Um, and I think something that is easy enough to forget, should be obvious, but often isn't, is that first photo is really your first impression. So make sure it's a sort of, you know, close enough prop of your face, your eyes are showing, no sunglasses, no crazy glittery filter, um, and smile. Uh, make it look like you really want to be there. <laughs> Today my guest is Claire O'Connor. She's head of edit editorial content on Bumble. Claire, uh, that first date, that, that means a lot to a lot of people. You got any tips on that? Yeah, you know, it's been really interesting to see the, the change in what a first date means to people. Um, it really these days can mean virtual through a screen. Um, but what we've really been so impressed by is the sort of resilience and creativity of our community during the past 16 months. Um, and we're seeing people move away from what would be considered the sort of typical first date in the before times, where you'd expect to go to a bar and have cocktails or go and have dinner at a restaurant. People are really embracing getting outside, going on hikes together, walking their dog together, having a picnic on the grass, just going to a local park. And now that things are opening back up again, going to, you know, a sporting event, going to a concert. Um, so it really seems like, you know, the days of feeling like you have to go to a dark bar to meet someone on a date, that's changing. We're taking more vacations, they tell me, and staying at uh, lodging than any other time since World War II. Tell me how vacations are impacting the dating world. Um, vacations, I don't know about vacations. I know that we um, have some data on vaccinations, though, um, which I think is an important thing to bring up. Um, we actually started seeing as soon as the vaccine rollout started happening, that people were taking it upon themselves uh, to put in their profile 
I'm vaccinated or use those little kind of syringe emojis that have become synonymous <laughs> the past 16 months. Um, but what we're doing now, along with um, our peers in the dating app industry, is we're working with President Biden and his administration to try and help get to that 70 percent figure of uh, U.S. adults vaccinated by July 4th. So very soon you'll be able to put a badge on your Bumble profile that says vaccinated. And what that's doing is showing people you might match with that you care about their safety. Okay. Let me roll vaccination into my question about vacation. That was a question. I know it was off script, but vacation, since we are vaccinated and they've been rolled out, people are getting vaccinated and they are going on vacation. Does that intersect with dating on Bumble? You know, are people being asked out to go on a vacation rather than maybe uh, a date? I don't think we have data that specifically suggests that people are going from dating to vacation right away, but we certainly have a lot of success stories um, that we share on our social page, on Bumble's Instagram, at Bumble. Um, we share on our content hub, bumble.com slash buzz, that shows that a lot of folks, now that you know we are able to travel, are you know thinking about road trips, uh, going to see some sites, going to the Grand Canyon together. Um, and we've had folks who are really getting to know each other via, you know, renting a camper. Uh, so it's exciting that these opportunities are now presenting themselves again. So sure, if after a few dates you trust someone enough to, to make that leap and get on a plane, go for it. But definitely make sure that you're taking it at your own pace and not rushing things and not going anywhere with anyone if you don't feel 100% safe. All right. More information for people who are new, maybe new to Bumble or are not familiar with Bumble. How, how, where can they go? Sure. So first make sure that Bumble is downloaded on your phone, wherever you would normally download an app. Um, and then we have a whole page dedicated to this sort of post pandemic summer of love, um, for folks who might be sort of ha having difficulty or just wanting to know more about how to go about it. Go to bumble.com slash finally. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.